Well, we're back here on the river. It is Tuesday the 14th of November. And yeah, I'm back on the river. Um, it's meant to be raining right now, but look at the sky. Yeah, there's a bit of cloud. Could have a little potential of a shower, but it's absolutely fantastic. I've just had the sun on my back. So from going from rain all day to what it is now absolutely fantastic yeah if you're watching this thanks for watching van sea fishing don't forget to click and subscribe it's all free and uh, drop a comment and leaves a thumbs up helps me algorithm and if you don't want to and you've clicked on it and you're watching me say all this palaver then thank you very much because that helps me algorithm as well but yeah I've started working on the house and I've decided to come fishing today. Um, hopefully it'll get me some videos in the bank so that things don't go wrong. It's cut for the intro because I don't know what else to say. Back in a sec. Cut for the intro. Yeah, so I'm back here at the river. It's Tuesday. I fished Saturday. That was last week's video. And uh, next week's video, see, I have to plan this. Here we are on the 14th. But the next video, I've got to say Happy Christmas because that will be the Christmas video. So, uh, yeah, if I don't say it, Happy Christmas in the next video, or I've got it wrong, Happy Christmas. <laughs> but no, it should be all right. Tom will put some ding dong bells on. Well, I'll say Tom will put some, he always does. He always does a little little bit in bobs and might even do a preview video of uh, the year or something. I don't know, he did last year. I really enjoy them because they'll get to see me on the telly. <laughs> now I've got the three rods out. We've got the uh, Ziplex 50-50. I could do with another one because my LM rod that I was going to turn into a fixed bill because it was so I've been led to believe a fixed bill reel it isn't it's a multiplier reel with eyes on that are too big so I need another rod and the wife's going to hear this but she knows that I always want another rod don't want it but I want another Ziplex for the river so we've got the TF5050 um, we've got the Vaselli Cobras with two spin fisher live liners 6500s and we've even got on this session the kenzaki i haven't had to walk as far as i did in the last video the next day um because because that obviously there's no one here so i managed to get in there but what i was saying was was the next day after that last week's video I couldn't move. I was absolutely buggered up all day. Because I walked all the way down. I probably walked six, seven hundred metres down that way, if not further. It was a long old walk. But I stormed back here to Woody and got a sausage roll at the end of the session. And, um, yeah, walked really well. And uh, it was just walking to the van and coming back to chat with him again. And walking to the van, I think, crippled me. It just did me in, and I was stood up as well. So, yeah, I've come here today, and a chap has turned up. He knows me, and it's Alan. Um, yeah, nice to meet you, Alan. And uh, I've told him to get in the next door to me and fish with me. He's come from, um, from afar. He's come from afar and uh yeah wants to catch cod let's hope we catch some cod tonight eh i haven't had one now it's uh but i didn't fish here this early i don't think i think it was probably next weekend last year i started fishing this mark so it's still a bit early for numbers there are fish here i will catch i'll be surprised if i don't catch but i would love to catch a cod really would like to catch another one um but i'd like to catch it and release it but you can't do out about that can you if they croak it they croak it don't they so yeah what else is there to say 
really enjoyed fishing with you woody dan and damu it was uh it was really good um dan dan caught a cod six pounds six ounce well done with that dan that's his personal best there should be something in the last week's video but the battery ran out it was showing 23 percent and it just conked out and said battery don't work so that is what it is when they get old i need to probably buy two more batteries and write new on them this time because i can't work out which ones are new and which ones aren't so i'm sure this winter will certainly uh let me know um probably done too much waffling already because probably switched off a load of people that might have subscribed to me but that's just the way it is um that's who i am and what i do and uh, i'd like to also apologize for the grumpy bugger that i was in the last video but those last two weeks without a van not knowing what was wrong with my van not knowing when i was going to get it fixed work on the go as well with this house um which i was in yesterday um it was an absolute nightmare um just put me right in the doldrums and everyone was fishing before me and uh as soon as my lines got in the water then my spirits picked up and i was okay but yeah when you get a bit down in the dumps anything that's wound you up for the past year can come out and uh make you a bit of a miserable bugger but that's me i'm afraid wife will vouch for that anyhow i'm gonna have a roll because i've only made two and they're my tea and it's only now middle of the afternoon so um what is the time time is now 14:51, and uh carl has messaged me so i need to read that so uh easy carl from uh gy grimsby i uh, hope you're doing well mate shall see you in a bit now we've done the intro there's no outro because that's just the end of the video so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to finish it here next time you see me i'll be casting that in the water so i'll see you in a bit absolutely cracking blues in that sky fantastic Well, that's the sniper rod out. Can you hear that clicking off? That weight's buried. Yeah, I've got a flapper rig on that. What else would I have? And uh, yeah, I've got two hull shrimp on it. Found some shrimp that Scott, the hardcore fisherman, gave me absolutely yonks ago, so I'm using them. Tidy's in. I've got Al beside me from uh, the Lake District, or up that way, should I say? And uh, got two chaps down there who watch my videos. Oh, God, do you know what? I forgot his name again. I should have said to him twice his name. What's your name? What's your name? And then it would have sunk in, and I'd be all right. But I'm an absolute bugger. Right, I'm going to get this other rod baited up and get it casted out and hopefully we'll catch us a fish. Absolutely cracking skies. Look at that. Bloody rod then. Well, 
<laughs> it's raining. It said it was going to rain a lot today. Let me turn that down. It said it was going to rain a lot today. But we've been lucky because when I got here, it weren't raining when it was supposed to be raining. And uh, it wasn't. And then when I checked the weather map, met office, it had totally changed. Um, it said it was gonna rain at three o'clock and it's three till four. Um, there's a 10% chance of raining now. It's now 1546, so it's actually raining when it said it would. But the three o'clock one has gone over. So um, yeah, sun's out as well. I don't know if you can see that. It looks quite bright, doesn't it? You can see the stones are all yellow. It's because the sun's out as well. But um, it is raining. So uh, at least, let me just put that down there. At least what was that? Bloody thing. So uh, let's put them there like that. Like that. So right, I've got two out at the minute. I've got a sniper rod and I've got my um ziplex. When I cast that, it bloody come out of my right hand. <laughs> How'd that happen? I don't know. Anyhow, I've casted it out, it's out there. So we've got two rods fishing and one waiting. But I ain't going out there to get wet, so I'm going to sit here. I could go back to the van and make a coffee, I suppose. But, um, it's too far. I did wonder about bringing a stove. <clears throat> So that I can make some food like what um, Woody did for me, because um, he cooked me burgers and hot dogs, and I could actually bring one of them pans that those carp fishermen have, them little square ones that big. Because when I went to buy one of them, I decided I'd buy the big one like that, because it'd be ideal when we're camping, which it has been, but it was a long while ago when we last went camping. And I've used it at the river, but it's not ideal for walking and carrying. It's good for in the van. So I might get one of them uh, little pans. Um, they do get messy though. But I could actually bring the sausages in the pan, couldn't I? Because it's winter time, so they ain't going to go off, are they? Have a little stove in there and cook them up in there, couldn't I? And have the bread buns, it don't matter, just get them Warburton bread buns that are cut in half, already cut, anything. Because that's all I had from Woody, and they were lovely. And because they were burnt on the outside, they were just scrummy. Scrummy, eh? What a... <laughs> Did you see that rod fall out of my hand? I'm in a better mood this week than I was in the last video, which was last week, which was only... Yeah, four days ago, three days ago. Well, it's four days as of now. Bird out there flying right low. Huge thing. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. So I've got one more rod to chuck out. Um, Tide's playing tricks with me again. It's, uh, I've cast it straight out and it's gone to the right. It's a bugger, isn't it, this tide? I've got to watch where I put my sniper rod because if you remember the last time I was there I was getting tangled up weren't I? But yeah, if this rain stops I shall be out, I'll get that Vaselli rod baited up and carted out and we've got three rods out there. Hopefully we'll catch a whiten or a flounder or something and get rid of the blank for you. I'm just doing that with my hands. And um, I better put my coat on, don't I? I want to get some water as well, some salt water. Um, and I want to put my worms in it because I think it'll fatten them up. That's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Two other fishermen have come here and they know me. <laughs> Old Norfolk boy. Bullied at school. 
made me what I am now. But yeah, old Norfolk boy. Best thing I did in life was finding the wife. And uh, yeah, obviously our kids aren't just down to me. Obviously the best bits of the children come from me. Worst bits come from the wife, but I couldn't have done them kids, believe it or not without the wife because you need two species and one is a woman and one's a man and they uh, do their bitty and uh, ooey and ah and an in and out and, and stuff and uh, bang you got a baby and uh, yeah so I couldn't have done it without her but obviously the best bits come from me get all their looks from me I wouldn't say my girls are chiselled but they are pretty wife ain't bad you know she had a day when she was in her younger days you know as we all did I looked at some photographs the other day and I thought Jesus Fern where's it gone oh. yeah I don't know I'm watching these rods and I ain't talking to you am I how bloody rude of me I'm sorry but yeah it's nice to meet people on the riverbank Al's a nice chap, nice to meet you Al. And uh Don't know I'm watching these rods, it'll come on the head, doesn't it? I've got my neck warmer on. I've got a neck warmer underneath, it's a blue one. That's like uh that's the undergarment. And then I've got this this one. Because you obviously watch the channel, you know I don't like cold neck. I'm going to have to put my coat on, I think. One, it'll cut the wind out. The wind isn't that strong, but it's picked up a little bit since this wind. This water rain has come. So I'm going to have to put my... I don't want to put any trousers on. Because I don't think it's going to rain to that extent. It's all blue sky over there. So um, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put my coat on. And I'm not risking it for a biscuit. I'm going to put my coat on. And my legs, if they get damp, they'll just dry, won't they? Because they're cotton trousers, they dry ever so quick. But if it chucks it down, I've got my wet weather gear. I've got to send them off and get the zip put in so I can get my old chap out. And uh, so I can have a wee easier. So I've got to get that done. Um, but I'll get that them trousers I'll dry them today and I'll get them posted this week that way um, should get them back next week so next week I'll probably go fishing again that will be the Christmas week's video so I've got to say happy Christmas yeah got to try and do something like that that's about it it's still spitting but it's better weather than what was forecasted. Yesterday afternoon it was sunny all day here, and then last night it was rain all afternoon into the night, and then this morning it was the same. <clears throat> no, it wasn't. Last night, and then this morning I put it in, and there was rain for like three or four hours. And I said to Karen, I'll get there later, and then I should miss the rain. But I didn't. I got air normal time and I looked at the weather and it had totally changed I thought well it ain't raining so I fired my weather app up and there was no rain at all so apart from at 3 till 4 which it is now 15.55 so anyhow that's enough of that bloody on me all that time I do try and remember not to have it on me all the time but yeah, you can see that, can't you? So that gives you something to look at, rather looking at my bloody face. I've got a bite. Can you see it on the sniper rod?
think I need to get older Scott. Just had a boat on that rod. <clears throat> is it raining still? I don't think it is. If I just sit with tap once more, I still haven't painted the tip of that rod. If you're wondering why it isn't got a, I've got a boat on that rod. No, I just pulled line off. Did you hear that? I got a boat on that sniper rod. Let me see if I'm in frame. Sometimes you catch on the flood. <laughs> Get my flies out. Got a bony mouth and flounder. Let me undo this. Right, so what we've got here. Two flounder. That was off a sniper rod, I said I saw the bite. Let's get these back. This one was deep booked, but it's out. This one was lit booked. Let's get them back, but kicked off. First cast, two flounders. Let's hope it's a good one. But the gills on the right one are the opposite way to the gills on the left one. I've uh, not ever seen that before, so this must have been done on a left day, and this one was on a right day. I uh, should have set the camera up to definitely get me putting them back as well. I don't think it has, but Tom will say, yeah, it has. Yeah, it has. <laughs> right, let's get this uh, sniper rod casted out. That was on shrimp, both of them. So.
Bowled at the rod. Burning. Right. I've still got a rod out. Not out yet. I might. Don't know if to cast it out or really have one in because the the ziplex went as well. So uh, there could be a fish on that. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring that ziplex in, cast it out, and then do the other one and cast that out. So let's bring that in now. There could be a fish on it. Well, that was a cod. I brought me other line in, and caught me other bloody line. And get this fish dealt with first. Bloody cock sock. That's a big flounder. We might measure that one. Right. How deep is the up in it? I don't think I've got my... What have we got here? Oh, this is gonna slow the fishing down. I'm in a right tangle. I've either got someone else's gear or I've got my own gear. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Well, this flounder is a big flounder and it is 32 centimetres and as fat as anything. So, yeah, we got it unhooked, but I pulled in my sniper rod, so it's been an absolute plaver. I've got new rods out fishing at the minute, so I'm going to get this put back and then get a rod out. I've got a retie leaders on and all sorts. It's an apps. Sorry about that. Right. So, bloody battery run out, but we'll talk about it in a minute. 32 centimetre flounder. It's fat as anything, but I'm gonna get it back and uh, talk to you in a minute.
row. I'm absolutely cream crackered. Right, that's free flounder. But I've got new rods out fishing. Because when I reeled that Ziplex in that I saw bite, it was heavy all right, because I was pulling in my bloody gear off my <sighs> sniper rod. So now I've got new rods out there. I had to chop the, the lead line brook, lead had come off. It's rigs are real tangled. I had to chop a hook off. So I've got loose to do now. Tide's coming in. It's an absolute ball lake. I've got a rod that's there with a rig on it. I'm gonna get that baited up, chucked out, and then I shall sort the other rods out. And uh, yeah, what a pain in the ass. But that's the problem. I have to chuck one right, one left, and sniper in the middle, or straight out and to the left. I've got Al beside me. I don't want to go to the left too much because I'll encroach in on his swim. So I'm gonna to have to uh, get this sorted anyhow. I'm gonna stop talking now because I ain't fishing, and there could be cod out there, couldn't there? So, uh, yeah, free fish. That was a 32 centimetre flounder, fat as anything. That would have made a meal. But, um, yeah, I'm going to crack on because I've now got to start up again. Like, I've just arrived there and now got to start. And the GoPro battery ran out, as it always bloody does at the wrong moment in time because the batteries are getting old. So, I had to put a battery in, put the fish back in the bucket go through all that palaver, go down there, still talking to you now and I should be sorting these rods out so I'm going to turn off now, I'll be back in a second of a blink of an eye once I've got this rod out, see you in a bit. Deep up this bloody shoreline there. Eh? Right, now I've got tire leader on. I've got a tire leader on me sniper rod and fish that and if I get cat tangled up and again this happened a few weeks ago here didn't it matter of fact tomorrow night's video this happened kept getting tangled up but yeah I'm gonna chuck that out I've, I've beat the blank now I'm gonna I might even put a pulley rig on that sniper rod see if there's any cod in close and do a squid squid and crab or squid and lug bait I'm going to put that lug worm in that water to refresh it and then hopefully once that's sorted I can uh, get some fresh water because the water will be in close and I ain't got to walk over them muddy stones so but yeah we're doing all right aren't we we've got free flounder you can't complain it's just numpty nuts air it's just bloody tank reeled in my sniper rod tangled both rigs up I had to cut the hook off because the hook was reversed on the flounder and it wouldn't come out of the other gill because it's a small hook um, 
it is what it is isn't it so I got it out of the other side um, came straight out flounder's gone back and uh, it was recuperating in the bucket for a, for quite a while so uh, yeah so I'm gonna get a leader tied on this sniper rod get the rig on and then chuck out but I'm gonna chill out a bit now I'm gonna chuck this I'm not gonna get that sniper rod done now and get chucked out what was that I've got no lights on well behind <laughs> anyhow let's get some lights on tie the leader on that get that sniper rod ready and uh, make up a bait because I'm gonna try a cocktail bait because I've got new yellow tails uh, I've only got blow lug might be the tide taking that something's going on there this is a nightmare we don't want to catch fish to this extreme because this is just too much isn't it Grab this Phoenix head torch instead of me Army Tech because it was the first one. Right, let me get sorted. Be back in a minute. Right, we're getting there now. Getting back to normal didn't take too long. Right. Got a pulley rig on this now. We're getting the right picking tonight, aren't we? It's just one of them nights. Look how calm I am, though. Oh, you bastard! I need to sit down, I think. That's what I need to do. Uh, yeah, I nearly fell down there then. But I've got two rods out there, got worm baits on. I'm not really holding much hoop out for them. Um, I've chucked the worm in the bucket to gather drinks, so they're fattened up a bit. Um, we'll get this out. Got a bit of fish bait on this, so we'll see what happens. Well, it was all going well, weren't it? It was going really well. Um, three fish on the first two cars. And you know where that sniper rod's gone, don't you? Oh, yeah. You know where that's gone, don't you? right underneath these I cast it out to the left for some reason tides coming in and then you get this tide run right in front of you weren't like that last year but yeah marks changed don't they things change so I've got to now be bloody careful that I don't do the same thing as what I've just done so uh, if I get a bite on the big rods I'm gonna to have to pull the little and then get it out of the bloody road I can't believe it. 
I can reel the right hand rod in without bringing this in, but this one's going to be dodgy. Right, well, I'm going to sort base camp out now. I'm going to put my other light on because I prefer it to this one. It's, uh, I can't believe that that didn't go there. I should have put a seven ounce weight on it, shouldn't I? I should have put a seven ounce weight on. Let's hope we get a boat on the sniper rod first, eh? Mr. Cod. That would be good, wouldn't it? So, yeah, well, things ain't gone right. Things ain't gone right. But, what the heck's that bouncing like that for? Not a bite. Seven meter tide, it's gonna be a big, big pull in it. Big pull. Right. I'm gonna sort these rigs out now. Worms are there. I've had a drink. We'll see what happened with them. Um, I've got a fish bait on and it's salmon. So we'll see what happened with that. Found it in the freezer. I think that's the last one. I've got two strips. Because when they sell in salmon, sorry, it's trout. Trout. Um, what I do is I buy a trout every now and then, fill it, backpack it. Yeah, I've lost loads of time there fishing. Can't believe it. Things were going, I was like, I was like Mr. Shittop then, weren't I? Like, reeled in two flounder. Then I reel in another flounder and it's heavy as hell and I'm thinking I've got a cod on there. Now, I had my other line, didn't I? Reeled that in. So I had both rigs next to the bloody and weights next to the flounder. So my line looped round. So when I reeled the line in, I knew it'd get caught around the stones. I didn't think it would just slide out. So, cut it back and retie the leader on and it's got a rig on it now, but I should have put a seven ounce weight on, so when I reel that sniper rod in again, I'll put a seven ounce weight on it and flop it out 20, 30 yards maximum. And hopefully, it'll hold bottom. So yeah, I'm gonna sort out this camp. I'm gonna have some water. I should have brought a flask, but I didn't. Run, I thought it was later than it was, but it weren't. So I did have time to make a flask. And I had to walk Duke today as well, because Tanisha's not very well. She's uh, she's not well. And um, I walked Duke and um, took him for as long as walk as I could. And uh, he was happy, made a fuss of him, stroked him, kept looking up at me. He's right chuffed that he's walking along, but I expect he does that with my daughter and Richard. But um, yeah took him back, made a fuss of him, and then I left. And then I thought it was like late, but it weren't. And yeah, I've got one more sandwich, got some crisps. I'm gonna sort these rigs out now. I ain't retying the hooks on and stuff. I'm just putting them in the wallet and sorting them out when I get home because I've got loads of rigs. I do not need to tie any rigs here. Right, I'll see you in a bit been looking at me again, ain't you? In the bloody way.
going to change this weight six ounces for a seven and I'm just going to flop it out literally just out there I'm putting this bait back out for now because it ain't going to be out for long I'm going to put it out for another five ten minutes Right, now I want this to go to the left. Just checking that was filming. Oh dear. It's uh one of them dang things, isn't it? Right, now that's out of the way. That is to the left, which is good. So uh, we've got that sorted. I don't know what to do for bait because the bait ain't brilliant. It's only blow lug. But that's all I've got. I've got squid in that. Bloody lights, I'm looking for my lights. I need to start bringing my big light again. Right, I seem to be having, I seem to have more stuff to bring each time. Right, let's just reel this in, see what's in there. I'm surely not in picture on that. Might have some weed on this. No, I don't think so. Sorry about that, Mr. Fish. He's alright, he's still moving, put it that way. 
we've got ourselves quite a large white in there. You ain't going back, mate, are you? We'll try you. bring you back in a minute once I've got this out but right he's not going back I don't think I'll tell you for why because that hook has pulled a bit of his stomach out so um, I'll dispatch him and um, sort him out tomorrow it's a shame I know it's only a whiten I know it's only a whiten but there you go. It is what it is, isn't it? Right, I need to get this rig back up and running now, don't I? I need to get this rig back up. Yeah, the hook had gone in, it's pulled its um, stomach or whatever that thing that looks like a. Um, looks like a brain I don't know what it is it is what it is isn't it it's what it is is what it is yeah. oh. well I'll tell you what I'll do I'll keep an eye on him if he swallows that back down um, I don't think he's going to though Let's see if I can poke it back in the old where it should be yeah it's nearly gone now ow now it's got my finger it's a bit like um with a smear round where you can poke its stomach back in and then they swim off. I've done that before, but this one in. So he's gonna give me e fish fingers or fish cakes, whatever. The last ones went to the cats. So um, this one in. This. I don't normally catch whiting, so it makes a change, I suppose. Bits of glass everywhere. There is bits of glass everywhere. Oh, it's a bit of plastic. Right, I'm gonna get this baited up and uh, reel the next one in, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, that's the, uh, I've got lugworm, tipped off a bit of squid on that one. The lugworm's only small, it's like blow lug, but, well it is blow lug, not like it, it's blow lug. But they're only tiny, they must be running short of, lug, of uh, blow lug in Norfolk, they must all be small tiny baby ones now. I'm going to have some water, because I ain't got no coffee and I'm gonna um, have a think about what to bait up next. Um, I might do squid and the lugworm and just put three or four of them in there and wrap them up and change the rigs and dare I say it, 
come off a flapper rig. I can't believe it. This is the white and it got deep hooked. It's pulled its stomach out because the hook went, got swallowed down. So it's been knocked on the head and uh, yeah, might have a go at making some fish cakes. Don't get many white in there. I don't, I don't anyhow. Don't seem to. There you go. It is what it is, isn't it? So where are we at the minute? It's dead slow. I mean, the first two cast, I pull out three fish. I have that hoo-ha, bringing my own line in and have to retie leaders on and sort my rigs out and new rods out so I get baited up and send them back out. And I've had, well, no, sorry, I've had the white and haven't I? So I've had three flounder and a white and I forgot that. So I'm gonna have a look at this Ziplex in a minute. I wanna try and have his sandwich, that's what I want. When I have yellow tails, it's all simple. I just thread it on the needle, put it on there. I never fish here, very rarely, do I fish cocktail baits. Um, I don't know why. So all I do is I reel in on the needle, on the hook, cast out, simple. When you've got to start thinking about cocktail baits, you're trying to think, what shall I do? Then you've got to make them, haven't you? I've come to realise that coming air is, is better for me and fishing with worms, something that's a bit substantial rather than blow lug, um, that's easier as well. But there you go, is what it is. I've just made up two squid wraps with uh, blow lug in them. So, uh, wind them up, I'm just going to thread them on a flapper rig and send them out. I'm going to get your sandwich eaten, then I'll bring you back. Oh dear. I've took some painkillers now, so hopefully it'll be better. You can see them rods, can't you? Of course you can. Melt them. Well, it's been enjoyable and please have come it's been uh, good weather we had a bit of rain we've had lots of bloody hassle with the lines getting tangled and stuff but it's fishing in it you notice how i don't get wound up about that sort of stuff now i mean bloody hell No, I'm going to eat your sandwich and I'll bring you back. See you in a bit. There's nothing on this. I don't even know if my weight's on it. You had any more, Al? I don't think you can hear me.
Well, gonna have to bait elastic that on in. This is why it's better to have a bloody worm. Still getting bites, though. Now, have you had anything else? No, I've had a quiet hour, I think, so. It's uh, not good, is it? <laughs> Turn. I didn't know what's time. Uh, 25 past 6. 25 past 6? Yeah. yeah we power up it, it? So you've just had that flounder? I You had the flounder and that's it? Uh, three of them. Three? Yeah. What you come for, though, is it? <laughs> I've just had a white and but it didn't make it, so no. that'll be for fish, fish cakes or cat food. Yeah. Right, let's wash my fingers. They walk every night. Every night I'm here, I see them walk past with them dogs. <laughs> Never speak. Uh, <laughs> mad axe man, you what? Might be a mad axe man. Yeah, what with his wife? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> All right, mate. <clears throat> I'm fishing. Yeah. And you're live on camera, Brett. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put... Hang, no, hang on, I'll, I'll put you on loud speak before you say that. Go on, then. Don't forget to subscribe to Brett's Fishing Diaries. No. Burn Sea Fishing. Fucking subscribe to Brett's fishing diaries. Are you going to do that? Of course you need, uh, you need to do that. What's it called again? What's your channel called again? Burn Sea Fishing. Burn Sea Fishing. Go subscribe to that one and Brett's fishing diaries. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. I'll, uh, you up, mate? Yeah, it's all free. Yeah, it's been a it's been a nightmare, mate, because I reeled one rod in, and uh, I was shouting it was bloody heavy, and uh, it was monstrous, and I reeled in my sniper rod. Yeah, so I had uh, all tangles and everything, and then I had to chop that that snapped off. I had to run. Uh, so for for uh, like three quarters of an hour, half an hour, I had three rods that weren't fishing. 
No, no, I'm all calm nowadays, mate. I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, I think I've got that mad and lost it when you lose time fishing and stuff. Because you've done that so many times, you start getting used to it and you just take it in your stride, don't you? Like with, like me chiselled looks. Do you know what I mean? If uh, if I didn't take my chiselled looks in me stride, I'd just get fed up with all the women keep tapping me on my shoulder, wouldn't they? Saying, excuse me, are you married? Do you know what I mean? I would have to keep hitting them with some some sort of rod. <laughs> now, do you know what I mean? I just think it's a case of uh, the more you do something, let's say fish, and uh, the more you get used to it, and when something goes wrong, you just take it in your stride. But there'll be that moment, though, mate. Like, I've been cussing because I've nearly fell over and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Because it does take it too far, unless it's late in the, late in the shift. Do you know what I mean? You, I might lose it then. Oh, well, I'll wait till the video, mate, I got told. <laughs> right. I don't know. Always best to just be happy, isn't it? You don't get subscribers not being happy. Do you know that? You gotta be happy. You can't be like me. <clears> that <throat> the the, uh, the amount of people I turn on through my fishing exploits, I turn off just as many, mate. I'll tell you. Yeah, I must do. Right, mate. I need to watch. I need to watch these rods because we're at the top of the tide now. So it's going to be bedlam for the next two hours. I hope. See you later. <sighs> right. What load of truck all that was, eh? Is my light on? For God's sake. So all that time I had my torch on. Fuck, bollocks, wanker. Right, we've got the, the squid out there now on the flapper rig, wrapped up with uh, blow lug. So um, should be quite a bit of scent on that bait because it's quite a big bait. But yeah, I suppose four fish ain't bad, is it? Really? I can't believe that I had my torch. My head. Oh, bugger. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to have to bring snipe rod in a minute. And, uh, oh, it's getting a bit chilly. I want to put my coat on now. I've got this far without my coat. Put me head up, Vernon. Put your head up, Vernon. Oh, I'm sorry about the light. I hope it comes out. I suppose, I suppose we'll see if it comes out. But that was on quite bright, I think. Never mind. Yeah, I grabbed my Fenix light. Um, and it's not as bright as this one at all. Yeah, it's got a good spotlight on it. And that one is getting old and it's got a built-in battery. So it might be getting weak. I don't know. But it's there. I use it. I grabbed it because it was the one at hand. So, um, but yeah, as soon as I'd sorted things out, I put this on because it's quite bright. Whiten's in the bag. It's ready for uh, filleting when I get them. So that'll be like midnight. And then I shall put it in a food bag, stick it in the fridge. Fillet it tomorrow. Because I'm going to fillet this one. Or I might just put it in a food bag and put it in the freezer and boil it up. The woody way. Well, that's how I did it before, but you still get bones in it. I have to get a recipe for fish cakes. Probably have to film Woody up. But there you go. So, where are we at? We've got three flounders. Um, all the uh, leaders are retied, rigs put away, new rigs out. 
See, I've now got to get up and make some more baits up. When you've got fresh worm, it's a lot easier, isn't it? Might get some black lug. Well, I've got these worm here, but whatever blow lug I've got at the end of this session, I should be thrown away and it'll get chucked in that river. And they've got two options, haven't they? But yeah, I'm just sitting there watching these rods. Actually, this is the first time I've actually sat down. So, but the rods are out there. What I'm going to do is turn you off, add some more water, and um, I've ate my sandwich. Got some crisps. I might wipe my hand and then have my crisps. Oh dear, excuse me. I've got some prawn to chuck out again because that's what I was catching on. I ain't catching on anything now. I've got a prawn rig baited up. But I don't want to catch flounders all night, do I? I want to catch a cod. I want to catch a cod. It all seems rushed sometimes when you're fishing. You'll, um, things go wrong like what happened to me tonight. You pull in another line and you have to take it all off and then it line snaps and, because it all gets wrapped round you, round the rocks. Um, so I was just pulling for a break, which it did. And then I pulled the line in and cut it all back, retied, sorted my rigs out, got new rigs out, baited up, casted out, and I've had nothing since. But all that, you're rushing around, doing all that work, um, which didn't really work, is it? But you know, to get yourself fishing again. And you, and the, day, the, the time just disappears. And then you're at high water, and tide's gonna start going down shortly. 16.39 so we're at slack water now <clears throat> we are at slack water so bring it back in a bit to rain um, but it's gone now so I'm going to chuck that out I'll put the coat on everything back to the bloody front
tide is absolutely hammering. Seven metre tide, you see, so it comes in quick, goes out quick. Right, let's get this rig baited up. Um, Al's just give me some black lug. I've got three. So I'm going to stick two on this flap a rig now got some good bait fresh lug just been pumped today anyhow see you in a bit Away. I think it's the tide. I think it's the tide, but mm. it's heavy. I'm hoping I ain't got me other line, which I think I have. Yeah, done it again, Anta. What the heck's happening there? Terms are hard when the tide's running fast. Well, that was lucky. I didn't pick up the weight of the other rod, but I was hitting the line.
let's get that chucked out. Not out far. We'll chuck this out short. Chuck it out short so it don't get caught in the tide. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Know what Al's brought me? Now, Al doesn't know this, but I got looked after like this on Saturday with my mate. Hot dog. Look at that. Compliments to the chef. I think it's got pepper in it and all. That's bloody lovely. I'm sh that's got pepper in that, it's lovely. Can't beat a chip lot. Like. Now I've got black lugs on the rig there. That was lovely. Even got onions in it as well. But I'm not going to say which hot dog was better, whether it was Woody's or Al's. But the one you've just eaten always tastes the best, doesn't it? That's all I'm going to say. Now they're all bloody lovely. Now, um, so I've not casted that one out so far. It isn't running round as quick as it did before. It's squid, crab and blow lug. Wrapped up. So hopefully there'll be a uh, fish coming past. Um, I've got two black lug. I might go ask Al for another one because I've only got one left. And that'll give me two casts on the flapper rig with, bl with black lug freshly dug this morning. Let's hope that Ziplex on the far side is moving because there's a fish on it and not because of the tide. I'll bring you back. I'll keep looking at it. I need some water and I'm going to take that tub back to Al. Thank him for his uh, endeavours in making me a hot dog. Thank you very much, mate. But I'm going to go to thank him now. <laughs> I doubt there's anything on this.
I'm putting that rod away. Um, I'm putting it away because it's caught me fish. I'm putting it away because it's caught me fish, you see. So, um, my leg, uh, I've been stood up a bit. I've just been stood up talking to Al. And um, I walk back, and because the slope is that way, and my left leg is shorter than my right, I nearly fell over. So I've just sat down on my box and had a rest. And I'm gonna have, uh, well, I'm gonna have another rest now, and then I'll start putting that rod away. The Vaselli keeps tapping, but I think it's the tide. And then we'll reel the ziplex in and put my flapper rig on with two uh, black lug on. There's weeds, there's loads of weeds. Loads of weed. Quite bad weed. Worst I've had here. Well, that weren't even fishing, was it? State of that. Lots of weed. Right, let's hope, because I've got good bait on that. Right. Well, let's get this reel in. Bait it up. Get it chopped out again. And we'll chuck it out shorter.
coast that has clay in it, so it's easier to come off. But you get May right in this river, you'll be swearing for it. Yeah, yeah. But if the water comes out of it, it grips your line. Yeah, yeah. It grips your line. Turn in the pot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Didn't you go rushing off? Ow! Did I just now? Did I just now catch a whiting? Not man, just caught a whiting. No, I did, didn't I? This is Al, who made me my sausage sandwich. Thank you very much, mate. No worries. There you go. So I didn't charge. I didn't charge me light. I did a little bit, but not a lot. And I used it the other night a lot. So um, it's just died. It cuts out. So that is two whiting now. What I did was I unhooked it down there because it was easily hooked under its gill. Well, under its mouth, in the bit there. And uh, I chucked it straight back in because I didn't want it to, to walk over here to put it in the bucket and show you. So that's why Al's just uh, confirmed it. So that's two whiting. It's two whiting and a uh, free flounder. Uh, the rod that I just casted out with the uh, black lug on is doing fine it's doing all right so i'm going to get this rod baited up the ziplex there's a lot of weed out there a lot of weed so uh i'm going to get that baited up and get that chucked out and i might not chuck it out so short because i've just chucked that one out fairly far and uh yeah i'll bring you back when that's all done and i'll cast out Now that one went out far, this one isn't. Middle distance. And that'll do. Well, it is a big tide tonight. Seven metres and it's barreling through. So you, uh, it's always a bit of a struggle. But I've got two black lug from Al and I've got on the right hand rod and the left hand rod, I've got a um, black lug and a squid and blow lug cocktail on the bottom up. So. The uh, rigs are getting all tangled up, as you can see, because of the current. That's a single Paternoster, is it? No. That's a that's a flapper rig, but it's all uh, tied up. So I'm now going to unravel that to get it back in the thing, and. Uh, get this baited up ready for the next cast because the tide is now going out drastically it's dropped meter and a half two meter but I'm quite positive with these black lug Al's dug them this morning and it's the best bait I've had all night really I'll be back in a minute I'm going to sort this out, have a drink of water and uh, watch these rods like a hawk. Let's get this done. Right, we're filming. Is that filming? Please tell me I ain't been taking pictures. Yeah, it's been filming. <laughs> you could, just imagine it, couldn't you? Been taking pictures all night, Tom would go mental. <laughs> This has been moving up and down, so let's uh, have a look at it. I've got two more rigs to check out.
What a fucking stonker! <laughs> Look at that man! Nice fish, nice fish. About three pound. <laughs> oh, oh. Bloody through the lip again. Long time it's gonna die. That wasn't, I hope that wasn't on fresh black log, was it? <laughs> Come on. Not another one dead. Well, I don't need another one to eat. They'll go back. They'll go back. Oh, that's a washy one. I'm pulling back. Might be over five. Oh, in his pocket. Don't lose your uh, fossil. Oh, you've been scared. Brilliant. Bloody Cameron. Right. What did it take, that? Uh, I don't know. What's on the rest of it? Your black lug. Oh, get in. Get in. I saw it tap. <laughs> I saw it tap out. No, I did. I saw it tap there because I turned my light on, didn't I? And you went. I said that just moves. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, before, oh, yeah, you did. yeah, they're just down there, didn't I? Because I turned my light on full. Mate, you'll get one tonight. It's hot zone now. That's filming. <laughs> right. Right, let's get this measured. I'm not going to weigh it, but I am going to measure it. <clears throat> get a good idea of weight. And I got my. Oh, it's lively, anyhow. Hey, yeah. 58 centimetres, 58 centimetres. <laughs> what a stonker, eh? And let's hope it goes back. Absolutely fantastic. 58 centimetres, that's probably four or five pound. Four and a half, five pound, I would say. I've had a 59. I've had a 59, and that weighed five and a half pound. <laughs> there you have it. One cod. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get it back.
catch as many as you like now, Al. <laughs> That was flicking about in the water quite a lot. Underwater, it never went belly up, but it was just flicking about. When I got down there, it decided to jump out my hands, didn't it? So I don't think that did it much good, but I kept watching it and watching it and it's gone. I know exactly where it is. So what I'll do is when the tide goes down, I shall go down with my boot rod as a walking stick and I shall go and check it's all right. Um, Hopefully it will. I'm going to put this last bait on now. Um, see you in a bit. As a matter of fact, let's just uh, let's just have a think about this for a minute, shall we? I've just caught a cod, and uh, I'd say it was four and a half, five pound. I know it's five pound. Um, just by that size, because every fish that I've measured, I've measured so many cod, you get to know what they weigh. But I weren't sticking the scales in, I weren't putting it in a bag, I wanted to get it back. So yeah, that's free cod this year. I can't believe it. Beautiful fish. See you in a bit.
Right. Is that still filming? Yep. My light, I didn't charge it up because when I finished Saturday, um, Sunday, I was, I think I've mentioned it, I was absolutely knackered. So I didn't do anything. And last night I thought, Jesus Christ. And I didn't charge this up, but I did charge everything else up. So uh, I think them lights there should pick me up. Um, failing that, that will, won't it? That'll lighten me up a bit, I think. So, lights are going. I've got two rods out. That'll be it now. I shall just reel them in and see what's on them. That one's moving. Probably ought to reel that in. Do you know, it's the first ever time that whiting over there that Al said, yes, he's caught a whiting. Um, it's the first time I've never shown a fish, I believe, on camera. And I just didn't want to bring it over here for it to keel over. I mean, I could have, it was a good size. I could have took it home, that would have made two whiting. But if there's a chance of it going back, I'd like to put it back. That's the main thing. So anyhow, I'm lit up with these lights, hopefully. I'm gonna reel these in. That's bouncing up and down like that. Could be tide, could be weed, couldn't it? But could be a fish. That cod isn't there. It's not moving about, swelling about. So as the tide goes down and I pack up, I will go down and check and I will, because it is in, or it was in where the bladder rack is. So it's on rock. Right, can I get that on there? All right, I'll see you in a minute. Right, well, this is the last reeling. Water's nearly gone from the mud. I don't think I've got anything on it. This is uh, a panel rig, squid bomb filled with prawns, shrimp, sorry. Um, yeah, we're we'll get it reeled in, and I believe the cod is gone.
<sighs> Let me put this rod on this rest and then I'll come back. I'm knackered walking around there. I've just checked all along the foreshore. There's no cod. The cod was where the weed was and I'm at, it's out on the mud now. There's nothing on the weed. So it's gone. I haven't tidied any rods up. So I've got shit those to do now. But let me put this on the rod rest and I'll say see you later. Right, I've just had to check the lens then. You enjoyed yourself, Al? Good. Right. Right, well, it's nice to meet you now. So, uh, it's been a pleasure fishing with you, mate. Um, I'll go tell him that anyhow. I'm just bound to see him before I go. But, yeah, this is it. I, uh, I wanted to fish it right down, see if I could, and I can. But, yeah, it hurts. But there you go, that's where it is, isn't it? It'll be sorted soon. Now then, three flounder, two whiten, and a 58 centimetre cod uh, that will be five pound and I ain't fussed of it in it's a cod it's 58 centimetres I've had a 59 at five and a half and it was no different in size to that one so it's brilliant I'm chuffed to bits so I was nipping my ass I'll not deny it but I'll give me some uh, give me three I only asked for two, but he gave me three uh, blacks that he'd pumped today. And um, they were lovely and firm. And I put them on, and bang. I was talking to Al over there and saw the bite. And uh, I thought, well, if it's on there, it's on there, isn't it? Because that's what barbs are designed for, to keep that fish on. And it went through the bloody bottom lip again. Exact same space through the fat part of the round lip. But this one has gone back, so brilliant. Uh, that's three cod up to now. And they've all been cod. Can't believe it, how good is that? That'll come to an end, but I just, I don't care. As long as I catch cod, cod and I ain't fussed. But yeah, it's been enjoyable today. It's warmed up again now, so, um, unless it's I'm walking about a lot, but it's warmed up. It's been a good day. Uh, three, four, five, six fish, and another card so uh yeah you know what the thumbnail's gonna be don't you it's gonna be absolutely fantastic because then i can count them up but yeah this has been fishing on the river umber i met al and uh i've had a great great time i've had a good chin wag he's made me hot um hot dogs and uh give me the bait which is it was the winner worth it so hopefully next time I'll have me yellow tails as usual um, and I'll be here again because it's just easier for my hip so absolutely fantastic I've enjoyed today very little rain nice nice bit of sun occasionally and it, it's been a nice night so next time you see me I will be here and uh, I'll see you anon Is it Tigger? I've seen Tigger before. It's my daughter's cat at uni. And he's promptly licking all his fur off. He's obviously got an issue. Tiggy. Tigger. Tiggs. Meow. Tiggy. Meow. Tiggs.
You want some more? You want some biscuits?
In the back. In the back then. In the back of the van. Um, is that black one? Yeah, you little tinker. Come on. We do what? Tigs. Tigger. Meow. Could be longer, but that'll do. Come on. Go on, get on your air and go sleeps. Yeah. Yeah. Look how calm I am, though. Oh, you bastard! 